Let's talk about the music of the monsters, but wait a minute. Has this been announced yet? Slash. Now Slash is coming back again to do his sixth score for Universal Monsters, his seventh for us at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, we, you guys, all the time, I run into fans of Halloween Horror Nights at the event, and you always, you tell me what you want. You're, you're not shy about it. And the one thing that I've heard over and over and over is, when are you going to do like an album with the music from Universal Monsters? Now, <laughs> for the first time ever, this year at Halloween Horror Nights, you'll be able to get a limited edition vinyl album uh, featuring uh, selections of all of the different houses that Slash has done up until this point. Um, this is the interior sleeve, you know, the opening, open up the album, this is the inside. Features all of Crash's iconic artwork. Um, I wrote the dedication. Uh, Stacy Quinolti on our team, who works with Slash, and does, uh, co-writes the music, arranges it, produces it. He remastered all of these tracks, especially for vinyl, so this year you will finally get that album that you've been asking me for for years and years and years. Should we announce the scare zone? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Luther Doris, most of all songs, is coming to Halloween Horror Nights. All right, Fred, I don't know, he might be in the audience. Pat, are you here? Pat Quinn. Yes, anywhere? Pat Quinn and our team does all of the uh, scare zones and park decor for the park. He has been pitching this idea for a scare zone to Chris and I for years. <laughs> and we've never said yes. And then this year we went, let's do it. This is one of the craziest ideas I've ever heard for a scare zone, but I dig it. And what it's inspired by is Luchador Cinema. Do you guys know what that is? It's, it's a specific genre of horror that is specific to Mexico, really. Particularly in the 60s and 70s. They would make movies with famous wrestlers, and they would pit them against monsters, like, not our Frankenstein, but usually a Frankenstein. Not our Dracula, but there was always a Dracula. Not our Wolfman, but there was always a Wolfman. Not our mummy, but there was always a mummy. Um, so, Pat's idea was to make monster wrestlers that are fighting monster wrestlers, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you the good monstros. The Blue Death. And what's really cool about this is working with our DEI team, um, we sourced all these costumes from, from Latin America, from the very people that make luchador wrestling costumes, um, so everything's authentic. This is uh, the Blue Death. This is his tag team partner, the Green Devil. And then there's the bad monstros. <laughs> the cave monster, who's not Frankenstein. But he kind of looks like him. The horror wolf, who's not the wolf man. But he kind of looks like him. It's in the spirit of these movies. <laughs> the water demon. Who's not the creature of the Black Lagoon. Looks like it. The Bruja, the witch. The skeleton man. The night zombie. And our still walking character, the bat. And here's the whole cast. Uh, this is going to be tied to our Latin American house, Monstros 2, The Nightmares of Latin America. So when you come out of this house, you go right into that particular scare zone. Um, thank you, by the way, because I owe that to you guys, too. It was you who got us doing this in the first place. Years ago, back in 2009, I think, a fan, more than one, came up to me and were like, why, why don't you do La Llorona? And I had no idea what that was, because it wasn't something I grew up with in my culture. Um, but I started researching it, and I started getting into it, and I realized, wow, this is amazing. It's so Los Angeles. 
is so representative of our community in Los Angeles. And so we've really been focusing on this for the last few years in particular. Uh, but really the credit is for you guys for suggesting it, so thank you. No sneak peek. This is the skull for the Skeleton Man, and this is what his finished mask looked like. This is a partnership with Immortal Masks. Uh, they might be here today, uh, but they do our silicone masks for the event, and they created some amazing masks for this one. Um, we're also creating original artwork, luchador posters in the style of that artwork from the 50s, 60s. This is just a few examples. And... You know, earlier today I signed that beautiful piece of artwork that our, our own Lucas Skullshot did for Monstros, uh, for people that came to the Universal Products and Experience booth. Um, I also gave them all these files, and, and they were kind enough to do merchandise that is available now, I think literally right now, on Amazon. For the first time ever, you're going to be able to get merchandise inspired by these houses, this scare zone, our Monstros house, and other original content we've done over the years. So go to Amazon, check it out. I think members of that team are going to give you guys some postcards when you're going out if you want to check it out. So I hope you enjoyed that. Woo. All right, we're getting to the end here. What's next? Move to self. Oh, God. You're not supposed to see that. Sorry. All right. It's fan appreciation time. Um, you know how this works, right? We're going to give away two express passes to HHN and an exclusive behind the scenes tour with yours truly of a house of my choosing. <laughs> which is gonna be the closest house it takes me to get to before the next place I have to go to. <laughs> um, but we're gonna give that away. We've been doing this every year of, of Midsummer Scream, and before I do that, I wanted to give it up to the people who create, produce, run Midsummer Scream. They're an amazing group of people. They do an amazing job. Um, it's a pleasure to do this show every single year. Again, I wanna give it up to you, the fans of this event. Um, your support through the years means so much to not only myself, but all the men and women who work on Halloween Horror Nights all year long to bring it to life. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's always a trivia question, right? You guys ready? 